Welcome back to Eagles Franchise on Madden 21. This is Extinguisher 10, and today we are taking on the 6-3 Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. But before we get to that game, we have a message. Uh, I guess we'll start from our offensive coordinator about a defensive end. Hey coach, any thoughts on how we're going to handle Miles Garrett this week? Because that guy's pass rush is devastating. The way he utilizes leverage and strength, he absolutely overpowers blockers on his way to the quarterback. Do we want to disregard Miles Garrett, commit to slowing him down, or commit to neutralizing him? I'm not going to spend all game throwing a thousand blockers at him, but I don't want to ignore him either. It's kind of what I do every time, at least when I mean to. Commit to slowing him down. I agree, Garrett is going to be a big problem but we'll strategize ways to minimize his impact. It's all we can do. If we do attempt any deep passes, which I'd strongly advise against, make sure the quarterback audibles to max protect at the line of scrimmage to prevent sacks. We'll need as many blockers as we can get. And beat Miles Garrett's Browns and give up two or fewer sacks. Reasonable goal. All right, now let's talk to our defensive coordinator about an X-Factor running back. Hey coach, what's the game plan for Nick Chubb? He's a strong runner. If we let the Browns get a lead on us, he's going to pound our defense into submission. How do we want to handle him? I personally want to handle him by scoring more than them, but let's go for slow him down. We'll manage him as well as we can. I don't think we'll be able to shut him down completely, but I don't think we have to. Exactly. If we can just slow him down, I think we can pull out the win. Yeah, I like that approach. We don't have to stop him. We just have to contain him. Let's do it. And beat the Cleveland Browns. Hold them to one or fewer rushing touchdowns. Once again, a reasonable goal. I think we can do that. And the Browns are led by Miles Garrett, Nick Chubb, who you already know about, and then Odell Beckham Jr. Let's get in the game. Have some fun. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And they're bringing us in the game for a second and eight. Let's go. Right there. Oh, just needed a hair more time. Miles Garrett getting in there and disrupting that pass. Now for third and eight. Ah, uh, just got to dump it off. And unfortunately, not enough for the first down. We're uh, three yards shy. Going to have to punt that ball away. Ooh, all right. Bringing us in for a punt. What the hell was that? I got screwed. Third and one. Oh, Miles Garrett coming back into the scene, getting the tackle, but we got the first down. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. All right, got to watch, watch out for Garrett coming off that edge on the right. And Zach, Zachary, Zachary Ertz into the end zone for the touchdown. Here we go, here we go, and, 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 boom! Let's go! Third and five. Oh, quick, oh, ho, 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 ho. quick little slant to uh, Landry. Later in the drive, first and goal. And, and, oh, 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 Nick Chubb just powering his way into the end zone, just fighting him off. That uh, that did not go the way that we wanted that to. But now we got the ball back, down by three. Let's see if we can get a little running game action going. Oh, 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 wah, wah. Second and nine. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Get there, Zach. Oh, that's a bad read on my part. Yikes. Well, if you made it this far into the series, you already knew. I'm not the best Madden player. First and 10. And, oh, oh. These Browns wide receivers are just killer. First and goal. Oh, and he misses his target by a wide margin. No argument here. Yes! No! No, what's the flag for? Second and goal at the 16, or third and goal on the 16? Well, third and goal on the 16. Now just back it up, back it up. That's okay, that's... They were already in field goal range. 
Let's take a timeout. And uh, let's plan on getting that ball back, see if we can drive downfield after they get this field goal. See if we can get another field goal. But we've got a few seconds left, and uh, let's see if we can get it. And, oh, all right, we didn't. they didn't put us in. Well, at least we gave ourselves a shot. And, wow, okay, no score. They're bringing us in for a field goal. I think I hit that pretty good. And kick up through. Boom, there we go. Down by one field goal now. And, uh, yeah, not a lot of time left in the third quarter. We better get after it. And, oh, lots of back and forth. No scoring. And bringing us in for another field goal. Oh, boys, it's going to be close. Ooh, not as good as the last one. Hooking back in. Does it have the distance? Yes, it does. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo! Got her in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Yikes, that was close. All right, we've got ourselves a tie game. And now on defense. Yes, Nikel Roby Coleman. Take this to the his house. Let's go. No, but he brings it back to just shy midfield. Here we go. Yes, 420 left in the game. Here we go. We got the ball. Let's hold on to it. And what just happened? Just under three minutes left in the game. Third and one. We really need to hold on to this so we can drive downfield, get a score, and keep them from scoring. Let's hand this off. Yes, look at that wedge. What? Oh, we snuck past him. Miles Sanders, can you juke him out? No, you can't, but there's a flag down. Please be on the defense. No, oh, it's not Lane Johnson. What are you doing? Maybe that's why we got such a good run out of that. Yikes. Now third and 11. Need this first down pretty bad. Right there. Oh, oh, Deshaun Jackson was coming open by the pass rush. Got to Carson Wentz and obviously incomplete. We're going to have to punt the ball. We need the defense to do their job. Come on. Backspin, backspin. Yes. Down to the four. Yeah. That's the second best punter on YouTube for you right there. Bringing us in. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let him get the first out. No. Ha. Ah. Yikes. Needed that safety bad. Second and 10. Oh, I was off the ball, but I don't think they got that first down. And the clock is still running. And, oh, they're bringing us in for uh, a quicken. Oh, wasn't able to stop the pass, but I was there for the tackle. Oh, just to dump off underneath, and they're now in field goal range. All the timeouts they need, and plenty of time. Second and four. And, oh, they're just running it down our throats. Time to call, start calling timeouts. First and ten. Oh. Yep, just running right, 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 blah, 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 blah. second and six. Really need to just blow this guy up in the backfield, get a fumble, and oh, please stop him. Okay, well, here we go. Third and three. Lose him, lose him. Stopped him in the backfield. We don't have any timeouts left. How's this gonna run down? It's gonna be close. Oh, the game clock and the play clock is almost identical. If they want to, they can run it down and end the game right here. Give us a shot. Come on, Madden. You're not that smart. Apparently you're smart. Oh, up, through, that is game. We lose 13 to 16. Brutal, oh, just a pitcher's duel. That is just really too bad. Offense just didn't get it done. I don't think there was too many turnovers either. Just couldn't move the ball. I think that pass rush is really what killed us. And okay, two takeaways, but we each had two takeaways. Yards per play, 5.3 is not that bad. Move the ball a little bit. Looks like the running game is really what killed us. Yikes. And looking at the numbers, Carson not having a great game. 60.3 quarterback rating, 
221 yards through the air, 54% for completion percentage, one touchdown, but two interceptions again. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm throwing the ball and it's it's not working out too well. Miles Sanders, yikes. Maybe even worse. 44 yards on the ground, 2.9 yards per carry, no broken tackles, no touchdowns. Yikes. Jalen Rieger leading the team with five receptions. Zach Ertz leading the team with 53 yards through the air. And the only touchdown through the air, one drop by Miles Sanders, and that was it blocking. Sacks given up, two by Andre Dillard, one by Isaac Salamalu, and one by Miles Sanders. Yep, that pass rush definitely hurt us. One pancake by Lane Johnson and one by Jason Kelsey. Davion Taylor once again leading the team, this time with 15 total tackles. I want to see Defensive Rookie of the Year out of him, if not Defensive Player of the Year. Wow, we he's getting a lot of tackles. Tackles for loss, one by Josh Sweat and one by Brandon Graham. Sacks, one and a half by Fletcher Cox, one and a half by Brandon Graham, one by Derek Barnett, one by Josh Sweat. Geez, the defensive line definitely did their job today. Half one by Javon Hargrave, half one by Jatavius Brown. Way to go, defensive line and interceptions. One, oh, that's right, I saw that one. Nikhil Roby Coleman and a one by Sean Bradley. Kicking Jake Elliott, hitting a couple of long field goals, keeping us in the game. And of course, his uh, one extra point for a touchdown. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, we'll see you back in the menu. Blech. And of course, back here in the menu, we're going to talk to our offensive coordinator. You know, coach, it felt good at the beginning of the week, but as kickoff approached, I became more and more nervous about Miles Garrett. Looks like I was right to be anxious, huh? And... All right, nothing happened. Whatever. All right, let's get in here and talk to our defensive coordinator. Man, I'm never more stressed out than when I have to game plan for a guy like Nick Chubb. Overall, I'd say our front seven held up pretty well. Yeah, definitely got into the backfield a lot for some sacks. It's just a shame we couldn't translate that into a win, you know? Yeah, defensive line definitely did very, very well. Proud of those boys. And of course, now time for our weekly upgrades, starting with Avante Maddox. And of course, man-to-man, -man, that's what we run the most. And 81 overall. And two to man, nice. One to play wreck and one to tackle. I dig it. There we go. And Derek Barnett, key pass rusher for us. Let's go into his archetype of power rusher. Make him even better. Now up to 80 overall. Two to power moves, one to strength, one to tackle. That is real nice. Jalen Rieger, our superstar rookie wide receiver. And let's go into deep threat. That's the archetype. Get it a little better. Does move him up to 80 overall. And one to acceleration, one to awareness, one to catch in traffic. That I really like. One to deep route and one to release. There we go. And of course, Carson Wentz. Well, we can't fix me, but hopefully we can make him a little better. Come on. Are you going to do it? There we go. Let's go for the strong arm archetype just because I love to throw it downfield. And uh, maybe we can get some extra arm strength in there. And one to deep throw and two to medium. All right, perfect. I'm, uh, I'm good with that one, up to an 85 overall. And Superstar, what's his abilities? I think that probably just unlocked a second one. So he has quick draw. Pass rushers with this ability have faster passing animations when throwing under pressure. Perfect, need that, I hold on to it too long. And sideline dead eye pass rushers, or sorry, passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on all throws outside the numbers, except on high and low throws. Well, I, I don't tend to throw high and low, so that works out great. And we're just gonna let the computer do uh, these two. Boom, there we go. And now it looks like this week we're gonna take on the four and six Seahawks, but that's gonna be for next episode, where we'll also talk to our defensive coordinator about next factor quarterback so that's going to do it for this episode of eagles franchise on madden 21 if you like this video and want to see more jump on down and hit that big red subscribe button below turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and if you did enjoy this video i'd appreciate it if you gave her a big ol like it really helps out the channel and until next time this is extinguisher 10 signing out have a great rest of your day See you, chump.